example five says that a researcher wanted to compare the pulse rates of identical twins to see that whether there was any difference. Eight sets of twins were randomly selected. The rates are given in the table as number of beats per minute. Alpha is 0 0.01. Is there a significant difference in the average pulse rates of twins? Okay, so first we just wanna you know, check whether or not this is an independent or dependent sample. So let's look at what it is. So we're talking about twins. So if you've got a bunch of twins, that you can pick from, you know, if you pick one twin to be part of the first sample, then, and if it's a study about twins, then obviously by default, you're gonna have to use the second twin to be part of the second sample. So twins are definitely a dependent um, situation there. And hopefully that makes sense that they're clearly, you know, matched or paired up with each other, okay, so. That's dependent for sure. Uh, so let's go through our, our steps for the p-value method. So step one, our null hypothesis, we'll say that mu d is equal to zero. And then what are we actually looking for? They wanna see whether or not there was any difference. So for h1, we'll say that mu d is not equal to zero. And we'll label that one as our claim. Okay, and then step two, um, I'm not gonna write out everything here, and I'm also gonna challenge you to do this part on your own in the calculator. So hopefully you watched the last video and you practiced with your calculator, because I'm gonna have you figure out the p-value for this question. But your steps, you know, you're gonna put twin A, those values in L1, twin B in L2, Create your L3 list by doing L1 minus L2, and then go run a t-test on your L3 list, and that should give you your p-value. Okay, so you're gonna get the p-value, and then step three, you will compare that with alpha. So I'll give you a clue, I'm not gonna tell you what the p-value is, but I will tell you that it should come out to be greater than alpha. So whatever that value is, it's definitely greater than 0 0.01. So you do not reject the null. And then step four, we'll say there's not enough evidence to support the claim. Okay, and one last thing. So we can do confidence intervals for the difference of two means for dependent samples. Um, for that, we're just going to use our standard t interval in our calculator. And the process to do it, it's the, basically the same steps as doing the t test, so you're still going to have to create that L3 list, and then you'll use um, the t interval, and you'll just tell your calculator to do it with L3, and that'll generate your confidence interval. So example six says, find the 99% confidence interval for the difference of the two average pulse rates in example five. Okay, so hopefully you just did example five, so you already have that data in your calculator. So you've already done most of the work. So for now, you should just go to T interval. So stat, test, go down to T interval, tell it, you know, L3 for the list and 0.99 for the confidence level. And then when you calculate that, it should give you negative 3.223 and 5.7232 as your lower and upper bounds. And then in the middle, the notation we use is that mu d. So that's the average of the differences. And then we're using this confidence interval for the same reason that we were in the last section. So we wanna make a decision about whether to reject the null or to not reject the null hypothesis. And we do it based off of whether zero is included in that interval. So if zero is in the interval, then the null hypothesis is not rejected. And if it is not in the interval, then the null hypothesis is rejected. So you can look back at your notes from the last section, um, the same rules from that one apply to this as well. So zero is definitely included in this interval. So we'll say since zero is in the interval, we do not reject the null. 
Or you can say the null hypothesis is not rejected, same thing. But either way, that does agree with the result that we got in example five from the hypothesis test. So we'll say that that agrees.